Hey viewers and vloggers, today is Thursday, August 4th, 2016, and this is my 31 week update. Let's get into it. Okay, so I know that this video is a little bit dark, and that is because I can't stand the glare in my glasses when I look towards a window. And I like filming in natural light, so this is just going to have to do. And I look tan, which is so nice. <laughs> but anyway, so what's been going on? First, let's do a progress update. I am now 31 weeks and one day. This is the first week of the eighth month. Hello to eight months pregnant. And I'm in my third trimester and 78% complete with this pregnancy. Countdown is eight weeks and six days, nine Wednesdays or 63 days. Baby size estimate would probably be like a foam finger. You know those foam fingers that you wear on your hands at games? Woo! Yeah, it's about that size, which is around 16 inches or a little over 16 inches and a little over three pounds. What's going on this week? As far as this week goes, really nothing. Just kind of spending time with friends, unpacking and just like ordering stuff for baby Hudson online. It's really just kind of a relaxing week, which is really nice. Uh, I thought Christopher was going to be really busy this week um, with work and stuff like that, but it actually turns out that he will be here more often than I thought he would be, which is really nice because, you know, it's always nice to have your husband there during your pregnancy. And lastly, what is going on with baby? So baby is having longer sleep cycles now, which means less movement in general. And they're also developing their five, their five um, senses at a rapid, rapid rate. So that's hearing, smelling, touch, sight, <laughs> and um, Oh my gosh, what's the fifth one? Okay, wait, I know I have this. There's sight, sight, smell, hearing, feeling, and taste. Ah, I fucking, well, oops, I did not mean to swear, but I freaking knew it. Is freaking a swear word to some people? I'm not sure, but if you comment below, I will certainly I will certainly appreciate that because I kind of want to clear that up. So as far as cravings go, um, you know what? It's kind of weird because you know how some people crave like weird combinations like pickles and ice cream and stuff like that? I never crave that in pregnancies. It's really, really weird, um, but I don't crave stuff like that. Um, I have been craving wings like chicken wings oven roasted chicken wings and like Popeye spicy chicken and uh, mashed potatoes are good um, and yeah that's about all that I've been craving and water I don't know if you could really crave water but I I'm really enjoying drinking water um, and then what are my pregnancy symptoms okay so as I mentioned before in the last video I'm still having heartburn it's it's very rare though, like it'll happen at such rare times and it's usually, yeah, like after I eat something super spicy. Um, oh, and then this morning I was woken up by my first pregnancy leg cramp and oh my gosh, let me just tell you that stuff hurt so bad, but it was actually kind of funny because I was having this really weird dream and it just woke me out of it and I just had to laugh because it hurt so bad but the dream was so funny and it was just like one of those moments where I was like this is pregnancy everybody but, 
But um, other than that, oh, and I've been so tired lately. And one of my biggest pet peeves in the world is like um, people that don't have basic human decency and common sense. And people that are just like rude in general where they like kind of kind of make you feel bad and then when you like retaliate or you stand up for yourself then they act like they're the victims yeah that really gets to me a lot like like really gets to me and i don't know if it's just because it's nearing the end and i honestly believe that pregnancy hormones are like basically your subconscious telling you to get rid of people that you just normally wouldn't really have a short tolerance for. Like, you know those people that you have in your life where, you know, usually you just give them chance after chance and you're just kind of like giving up that they're actually going to be people that you're going to really, really like. That's what pregnancy does. It kind of like... <laughs> It kind of just like takes away your filter and you're like, I haven't actually felt comfortable around you in a really long time. And at this point, I'm tired of you thinking you can walk over me. I'm just done. Now, granted, you know, <laughs> I have been very cutthroat about things. I do feel bad sometimes, but I saw this picture the other day. And it said, if it doesn't bother you in five minutes, or if you don't think it'll bother you in five years, don't, it's not worth your time to be upset for five minutes. You start to realize that, actually both of you may not even be the problem. It just may be that your personalities are just so darn different. And that's okay. But like I said before, you don't need them in your life to be happy. And they don't need you in their lives to be happy. Honestly, the only reason why people get upset whenever you remove them is because they're just so damn nosy. That's it. That's why I never get mad when people remove me because guess what? I care about them, but not enough to get pissed off if they don't want me in their life. Like, it's that simple. I mean, we're all adults. We're all legal adults, I hope. Maybe we should act like it. That's beside the point. Here I go rambling. So yeah, add hormonal to the symptoms. Sorry, I know that usually I'm really good about watching myself. I'm telling you, it's really hard right now for me. <laughs> it's really hard right now for me to keep my self under control. I'm trying to, it's just like when you near the end of pregnancy, you're just so tired of stuff. And with that, I will show you my belly and pretty much be the end of this update. I know that I tangented a lot and kind of vented. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. But if you're looking, if this is your first pregnancy, that's what you have to look forward to is just sometimes you're not the nice person and that's okay because it's just your baby trying to get rid of people that normally you probably wouldn't get along with anyways, so that's that. Alright, well there's my belly. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.